please cut the spanglish. Hey, I think cut I the may have met my destiny today. Mm. I thought you were mad at her. Why don't you mind your own business? When are you going to grow up? When everybody gets off my back. Hector Elizondo plays a patriarch with three daughters in Tortilla Soup, a warm and funny comedy about life, love, and terrific food in a Mexican-American family. He's also a great chef, but now retired and depressed because he's lost his senses of taste and smell. His wife died years ago, and he worries about his oldest daughter, a spinster teacher, played by Elizabeth Pena, his middle girl, a businesswoman, played by Jacqueline Obradors, and the youngest, a hip rebel, played by Tamara Mello. And please don't tell me. It's perhaps. He's perhaps. <laughs> the daughters would all like to have their father remarry, and Raquel Welch plays a leading candidate, although not all of the girls agree. And what are you rebelling against, dear? People who talk and talk and talk and say nothing. Careful, honey. Boys don't like smart asses. Yeah, they just like asses. Life revolves around the dinner table, where the oldest daughter amazes everyone by bringing home a boyfriend played by Paul Rodriguez. You like tortilla soup? Yes, yes, of course, yes. My, my mother used to make it for us all the time. She never made it like this. If tortilla soup seems familiar, no wonder it's based on the same screenplay as Ang Lee's film, Eat, Drink, Man, Woman, which was about a Taiwanese chef and his three daughters. The transition of cultures is effortless, and it's great to see Hector Elizondo, an actor of instinctive charm and conviction, in a starring role. The director, Maria Ripple, has a lot of storylines to follow here, as all three girls and the father make big romantic decisions, but she moves between the stories smoothly and she holds our attention, and then the food looks great, too. It was prepared by Mary Sue Milliken and Susan Finnegar, the two hot tamales from the Food Network, in case you wanted to know. Yeah, well, the food's like a supporting character in yeah. this film. It really makes you hungry. And, of course, they hardly ever actually eat the food because they prepare the food lovingly and they sit down and then one character or another says, I have an announcement to make. And then the fireworks go and it ends up with people breaking dishes or running off or hugging or kissing. But I thought it was a wonderful film. I think everybody's really good in here. It's interesting that almost every actor in this film is Latino, but has played a lot of Anglo characters, of course, including Raquel Welch. So it's nice to see, to see them celebrating their heritage and speaking this kind of Spanglish, as they call it, English and Spanish back and forth. You know, there's a whole tradition now that's coming along of movies based on ethnic cuisines, like Big Night was about Italian. Mm -hmm. What's cooking? And was what's cooking? Then you had soul food. Right. And now you have this. And uh, <laughs> I think it's great. You could make your own film festival of movies about food and families. Now and we just bring back Smell-O-Vision and we're all set. We can yeah. pick up all the sets. But, but is Elizondo just, is yeah. fabulous in this film. He is so effortless in his conviction as an actor and so often has played supporting roles yeah, in the past. a dignified performance.